How about that? Well, that's kind of the worst case scenario. Yep, it sure is. Completely full of water. Oh, man. And uh, tar has also seeped in there. I don't know if anything is going to be salvageable. Uh -uh. Look at that. These are some photos. Now that is like you said, pretty much worst case scenario. We might be materials. able to salvage some stuff here, but we're going to have to take it out one piece at a time, pretty much. Yeah. This just looks like a newspaper article. Some of this stuff has just deteriorated completely. That is too bad. There's a photo. You know, once we unwrap it, we might be able to make make out something here. Yeah. Here is a picture of me when I was 12. They should be about my age. No. No. Pictures, pictures destroy. <sighs> this looks like it's a publication of some kind of book. Huh? It's okay. too. You know what? Uh, Wait and Fanny Shanks, the Heritage Restaurant. I'll be darned. Up in Kearney. Oh man, the tar is just everywhere. Yeah. What a... So Scott has what looks like a, Thank you. a little canister and he's shaking it. There's something inside of it. Something solid it sounded like. Let's see if we can get it open. There is a coin, a half dollar. A half dollar. I thought somebody might put that in. There's a little note with it. Yeah, and a stamp. <laughs> Something else here. Oh, another coin. I can't tell. Appears to be a silver, silver dollar. Silver dollar. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Here, let's set this aside for further cleaning. That. I think this is just part of a book. Uh -huh. uh, that might be a DAR book. Yeah, DAR Sesquicentennial oh. book. Okay. They actually published the revised edition in 72, so that right. makes sense that it would have been in there. were just yeah, washed out by the acid water. Yeah. That's it, boys. Oh, all the way. Well, that is a sad, sad sight. Yeah, that's right.